So we've just walked into Donna Box. I've just had a friendly, warm, comforting, big welcome by the owner. He's given us a few samples because he mentioned when newbies come in like ourselves, always try the Donna just to see kind of what we're getting ourselves into. Um, so I've got a little, well, quite a nice strip of lamb Donna. So they make it themselves. Nice one. I was taking for it for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> when you taste it now, you'll see what I mean. So it's not obviously it's not going to be your standard donut from the local chip. We make this ourselves. Oh, you make yourself? Yeah, yeah. We make everything ourselves. Nice. This is 100% lamb donut. Wow. I'm just get a close up on that. Get a close up. I'll put you a bit of salad on the side and we make it look a bit sexy. You can use it as a thumbnail later. Oh, don't worry. Go better. It's as posh as you're gonna. Nice, get. bro. We're gonna it's have a. Posh as you're gonna get a fucking. Um, straight away. I don't think I've ever started a video with like eating straight away. Normally it's kind of a menu breakdown, but I'm waffling now. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Straight away, that fattiness coats a whole palate of your mouth, which is great, which you want with a with a doner kebab. I feel like there's a bit more of a leaner, not not extremely lean, like German doner kebab, but there's there's some sort of you know you have to establish that fatty kind of content. Most definitely has that. You, there's definitely a twist with your conventional kind of normal doner you get from the local chippy. Whilst I've got the camera rolling, we're gonna try a um, look at that little chicken doner. Mmm, mmm. Those little charred, crispy ends mixed with that kind of softness of chicken. Chicken's a bit fragrant too, if I'm being honest. Yeah, we're off to a good start. Uh, brother, more samples, please. <laughs> Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new episode of Halal Munchies. Today, we are here on Lady Pool Road at an establishment called Donner Box. Straight away, as you can see, there's a car on top of me. Got a little bit shook, and also, it's got a ticket. You can't park there. <laughs> We're here at an establishment which specializes in authentic lamb donner. So they make their donner themselves, as you've just seen from the clip before, I've had a little taste of Donna. It's, it's amazing, right? We, we can't let them know that because it's a food review, all right? I just give a quick pan around the restaurants, as you can see. It's cool. It's got that kind of black, yellow vibe. Again, aesthetics. Uh, you know, you got the kind of black and white floor. It's a small establishment, but I've always said these small establishments, they're like, like hidden gems. Within uh, within cities or even little towns, we've decided to go for a doner kebab in um, authentic Turkish bread, so it kind of resembles or replica replicates or kind of uh, copies the German doner kebab kind of vibe. Well, not copy. Let's not say copy. Imitates. Oh, there's the doner. And we also decided to go for a donor box, a mixed donor box. Oh, they've got a little uh, story there. And I'll give you a quick menu breakdown. So, simplicity is key. And we've got a very simple menu. We've got the donor roll. You've got the donor box itself, which is self-explanatory, which is just a donor box with, again, mixed. Um, you can get mixed, so you can get chicken and you can get lamb donor. I decided to go for a donor kebab in the authentic kebab bread. You've got a donor burger. And then you've got a few extras there. So as I mentioned, simplicity is key.
So as you can see now, I've got the, uh, the doner kebab with the skin on fries. Um, I'm just going to try the fries as they are. There's some sauces there. I'm a fat bastard. It should be alright for you yeah. Crunchy, there's not much potato in there, so they're really, really crunchy. Mmm. Lightly salted, which I love. Look at this doner kebab. Just look at that. I'm just gonna at at attack it how I'm how am I supposed to attack it? <laughs> mm. Mm. Very fatty, very very fatty. As I mentioned, that fatty taste coats the whole palate of your mouth. There's definitely like a leaner element to it compared to your normal, your normal takeaways. And then you've got this beautiful slaw. Bit of a crunch. We're gonna try the chicken now, as you can see. Chicken soft. Chicken is soft. Chicken, chicken is juicy. To, to an extent, it's fatty again. This is very high quality, Donna. So I'm here with the owner right now. Very quick interview segment, as I always do at the end of my videos. So, brother, what was your inspiration of opening Donna Box? We just wanted to bring some quality to Birmingham. Some yeah. good quality Donna made with lamb, opposed to the normal cheap crap you get everywhere else, mm -hmm. and some good quality chicken. Donna. See, uh, you gave us a nice menu breakdown, but what are the best sellers? I know, I know it's a very simple menu, uh, but what are the best sellers? Our daily freshly baked Turkish bread, hands down, cannot be beat. It's mm. baked daily, and that fresh mm. crisp with our 100% lamb Donna inside it, has you coming back for more time and time again. Long term, where do you see this brand going? Well, it all depends on the, on the customers liking it, doesn't it? So as long as we can keep the customers happy, who knows? Where are we going to go? Perfect. That's great, Rob. Appreciate it. And Alhamdulillah. Wishing you all the success. Thank you very much, brother.